and hello everyone, this is Gabe here, and today I'm going to try and attempt my first PS2 commentary on one of my most favorite games, Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Now, uh, as you can see here, I I finished this, uh, I finished the game about two weeks ago. I haven't really completely finished it because of the time trials, which I gotta say are pretty freaking hard. But yeah, when I uh, played this game again after so many years, I was amazed at what elements I loved about this game. I mean, you know those games where you think they're good when you're low key, when, but you think they're shit? This game isn't like that at all. And I have had more fun with this game than I've had with any new or old games I've purchased or played this past year and that includes black ops <laughs> I know that will make some people mad the reason why I remember this game so much from my childhood is that it was the first game to introduce me to the self system where you basically needed self to survive and I know that 2 has stealth elements in it I don't three. I don't think three. Number three does. Uh, hopefully, they bring it back in number four though. That'd be pretty nice. Eh, but too bad they don't make PS2 games anymore. Uh, huh. Wait a minute. I think I can beg a friend to lend me their PS3. I mean, they they're as much as a big Sly Cooper fan as I was back then. I'm sure they'll buy it as soon as it comes out. So, I guess I got nothing to worry about. Alright, so now we're going to the first obstacle of the game, which is basically a... I forgot what it's called. A laser security system. Why that's built on top of a... In for a ventilation system, I have no clue. But one thing's for sure, they make this look hard when it's so easy. And the game kind of have a, has a reputation of doing that quite a lot. Now, the one thing you must always remember about Sly Cooper games is that it, you never go through the front door. Now, I'm not really sure about 3 because I've only played a little bit of 3. But for number 1 and number 2, you almost always have to go through a crack in the wall, go through some kind of water system, or just, you know, go through the windows in order to go somewhere. Never go through the front door, barging in, guns a blazing. You know, uh, this game actually has something similar to acquiring an item, like the Zelda thing. You know, where it goes... Except Tiss is a bit cooler when he does it. I mean, he does it like a touchdown victory dance. Oh, of course. The cliché. Oh, look who it is. Raccoon. It's a foxy with boobies. Ah, Lovely. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. I'm not sure which accent I'm using. British, French, the world will Plenty never know. Once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. You know, if she knew him for so long and knew his sly actics, tactics, you think she would have closed the window just for, you know, to keep everything safe and not to get stolen, but whatever. Oh, and uh, destroying uh, state property is also awesome, you know, destroying a bunch of police cars. Your aim is horrible, by the way. <laughs> well, that's the end of the first part of the game, so now we're just going to get some backstory now. So I'm going to keep Once quiet again, for the rest of it for anyone that's interested, so... Guys, I'm Gabe, and I'll see you guys later. See ya. Finally, the secret police file I've been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon.
Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialized in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. And another one bites the dust.